There's been a mention of a Note 10 Pro, new concept renders and more reports of multiple variants, but all that's coming up right after this. If you're new here and want to stay up to date with the latest tech, please hit subscribe followed by the bell. So first of all, we've got a new concept video of the Galaxy Note 10 from Concept Creator. This stunning video shows us what he believes the Note 10 is going to look like, and while an incredible design, I personally don't think this is what we're going to get. First of all, given the success of the Galaxy S10 range, I feel they'll stick with the same selfie camera in the top corner, and second of all, the camera lens just appears too small in the footage. I do however feel the rest of the design is somewhat accurate and what we can expect to see from the Note 10. Next we've got the well-known Samsung Leaker Ice Universe hinting at a Note 10 Pro. Unfortunately, the tweet simply said Note 10 Pro and that was it. So either he's telling us there will be a Note 10 Pro or he's trolling all the Samsung fans. We know there are four models coming and it could make more marketing sense to have a Note 10 along with a Note 10 Pro rather than a standard Note 10 and a budget model. Sam Mobile have also reported that the model numbers have been discovered for the Note 10 and again confirming that there will be four models. If the Ice Universe tweet is correct, we have the SM N970 which is the standard model, the SM N975 which is the Note 10 Pro, followed by the SM971 and SM976 which are the same as the previous ones but with 5G connectivity included. A report from South Korea suggests the Galaxy Note 10 Pro will have a huge 6.75 inch display and four cameras on the rear, while the standard variant will have a 6.28 inch display with a triple camera setup on the rear. In terms of hardware, they're reportedly going to be exactly the same apart from the Note 10 Pro having four cameras and the standard Note 10 having three, and this will most likely be missing the time of flight sensor. While not documented anywhere, I suspect we may also see a single selfie camera on the Note 10 and a dual selfie camera on the Note 10 Pro if the S10 range is anything to go by. Still many people are disagreeing in the comments and saying that there will be a camera in the S Pen, but I really do not see this happening. A patent was filed for this, but there was no mention of the Note 10. Let's not forget that the S Pen is also relatively small right now, so you wouldn't be able to fit a very large sensor inside it. Also, it makes the S Pen more valuable and very frustrating if you were to lose it, and on top of all that, I just feel it would be a bit too gimmicky and not something Samsung would do for the Note 10. Just remember, they do file a lot of patents and it doesn't necessarily mean they're going to create it. People are also speculating that we may see a motorized camera similar to the A80. While the design is great and I do like it, it just doesn't fit with the Note series and would make it look cheaper in my opinion. Ice Universe also suggests that Samsung are going to be upgrading the size of the main sensor. With so much competition from the likes of Huawei, this would be a great move from Samsung. There's no information on what sensor this could be. Samsung of course have their own bright GM1, but lots of devices in the market are now opting for the Sony. Along with the main sensor, we're expecting a 12 megapixel telephoto, a 16 megapixel wide angle and on the smaller variants, the addition of a time of flight sensor. When it comes to the overall looks and design, I feel the renders provided from Phone Arena are probably the most likely. They look like an improved S10 and follow a similar design to the previous notes. The launch isn't till August though, so a lot can change between now and then. The Galaxy Note 10 will have an ultrasonic in-display fingerprint scanner given that the rest of the 10th anniversary range have it and the screen will of course be protected by Gorilla Glass 6. In terms of hardware, it's going to be using the Snapdragon 855 system on chip in North America and the Exynos 9820 globally. There's rumors of an Exynos 9825, but at this moment in time, we're really not sure. And Samsung also announced their 5 nanometer chipset as well, but there is just no way this is going to be ready in time for the Note. RAM and storage configurations, I would expect them to be similar to the S10 Plus, so probably 8 or 12 gigs of RAM with 128, 512 or 1TB storage and it will of course come with Android 9 Pie in the form of One UI. With a 4500 mAh battery capacity in the 5G model of the S10, I'd also expect the Note 10 Pro to have around the same. We can of course expect a reduced capacity for the smaller variant. 
We're reportedly getting a gradient color range and a hybrid SIM tray for external storage in both. And given that the Note 9 and S10 are both IP68 water resistant, the Note 10 will probably be as well. Price wise I would expect it to be higher than the Note 9 launch which started at $1000 and of course the Note 10 Pro will be even more. It's surprising the amount of leaks flooding in this far away from launch but as we hear more I will be keeping you guys informed and as always I'd like to know your thoughts down in the comments. Do you think we'll be getting a Note 10 and a Note 10 Pro or a Note 10 and a Note 10 E? But thank you for watching the video, if you liked it smash the thumbs up, if you didn't make sure you hit the thumbs down twice and I'll see you guys in the next one.